Mauna o Wakea, the mountain of the god Wakea, from whom all things in Hawaii are descended. Mauna Kea is the tallest mountain in Hawaii with her summit sitting at a whopping 13,803 feet above sea level. Mauna Kea is one of five main volcanoes that make up Hawaii Island. Tall cinder cones atop the summit of Mauna Kea and lava flows that underlie its steep upper flanks have built the volcano a mere 115 feet higher than nearby Mauna Loa. How many telescopes can you spy? Mauna Kea is the world's home of astronomy. The clarity, stability, and darkness of the skies make this the premier location for astronomical research, and it's why the Mauna is home to 13 of the world's largest, most powerful and productive telescopes. Mauna Kea is over 33,000 feet tall from base to summit, which is significantly taller than Mount Everest, making it the tallest sea mountain in the world. Mauna Kea is considered an active volcano. Its last eruption was around 4,600 years ago. There are still occasional earthquakes that will originate inside the Mauna, but are most likely due to structural readjustment and not volcanic activity. Mauna Kea is a shield volcano, however, according to USGS, it has evolved beyond the shield building stage. Here are some indications Mauna Kea is beyond the shield building stage. One, very low eruption rates compared to Mauna Loa and Kilauea. Two, the absence of a summit caldera and elongated fissure vents that radiate its summit. 3. Steeper and more irregular topography. For example, the upper flanks of Mauna Kea are twice as steep as those of Mauna Loa. And 4. Different chemical compositions of the lava. The oldest visible rocks on Mauna Kea are found near sea level in deep gulches on the northeast flank of the volcano. These are associated with eruptions around 200 to 250,000 years ago. Scientists estimate that eruptions during the shield stage lasted for about 800,000 years, so Mauna Kea is probably at least 1 million years old. Lava erupted during the shield stage built more than 90% of its overall estimated volume. The earliest eruptions of Mauna Kea produced about 850 cubic kilometers of lava. These basalt lava flows and cinder cones completely cover the volcano, but are most common at the summit and upper flanks. Beginning about 65,000 years ago, a change in lava chemistry of Mauna Kea's eruptions produced cinder cones and elongated, rugged a'a lava flows. It is likely that these eruptions occurred as sporadic clusters of activity, the most recent between 6,000 and 4,000 years ago. Mauna Kea was created as the Pacific tectonic plate moved over the Hawaiian hotspot located in the Earth's mantle. It began erupting as a pre-shield volcano roughly 1 million years ago and was very active during the shield stage until 500,000 years ago. The shield stage lavas that built the enormous main mass of the volcano are theolitic basalts created through the mixing of primary magma and subducted oceanic crusts. The post-shield stage 250,000 to 60,000 years ago produced more sporadic and explosive eruptions with lava comprised of alkali basalts. The change to a more viscous, thicker lava composition contributed to the steepening of Mauna Kea slopes. Additionally, the explosive eruptions left behind many lava domes and cinder cones atop the Mauna you can still see today. Although the most recent eruption occurred around 4,500 years ago, this volcano has the potential to reawaken. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientists have stated that there is a potential for future eruptions. They have observed seismic activity between 2000 and 2013, and a recent report by HVO scientists 
highlighted drastic changes at Lake Waiau, which is located on the southwestern slope of Mauna Kea. Mahalo for watching my video on Mauna Kea.